this is. <laughs> A TNT production. Well, Nathaniel, I think we've had enough fun for one Halloween's night, and I think it might be fun if we just leave you and your wooden leg here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be dastardly, my fellow lads? <laughs> mm, Pritchard, I think you've stumbled upon a fabulous idea with that one, my good lad. Mm, yes? Yes, Nathaniel. You and your stupid wooden leg are cursed to spend Halloween night out here on X and Comp Rock until the witch comes to get you. And if the witch doesn't get you, the evil ancient spirit trapped in the rock certainly will. <laughs> come, Nigel. Come, Pritchard. Let us prance back to our homes. But, 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 but I don't want to be scared, you guys. Quiet your mouth, Nathaniel. You're quite right, Mitchell. Let's leave him here. Here, help me pop off his one wooden leg. <laughs> no, 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 don't take my leg. Good luck getting back to the village. She'll be out here with you, wicked, wicked witch. <laughs> oh, this is simply devious of us. Oh, 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 good fun, my friend. Good fun indeed, Pritchard. Hmm, I remember the last boy up here with one leg we left. He wasn't a match for the witch at all. They boiled him in their cauldron and fed him to the squirrels. Those eerie, loud, and unrelenting squirrels. No, that's my good leg! No, don't tie me down! Don't leave me out here! Next Halloween, we should throw that damnable Tommy up here. I hate him in his gib hand. <laughs> yeah! Wait, wait, do you see that? The rock is starting to glow. The ancient spirit knows we're here. It's awakening. Which means the witch will be here soon. We have to leave. Come on, quick, quick. Oh, it, it's so dark. What, what was that? Was that a squirrel? Please, please, squirrels. I, I, I have all the air corns you could ever want. Just don't eat me. Don't throw me in your boiling cauldron. Please. Rock, the glowing rock, Hexenkampf rock. How can I get close again? The witch, the witch is there guarding it. The squirrels, I gotta get close to that demon. The spot where my boy died oh, up at the rock there. Oh, how am I gonna get back to the rock? Now, Maurice, we, we've told you before, uh, you're gonna have to cut out all that superstitious talk about the squirrels and all that other jibber jabber. I, uh, I don't mean to be impolite, but you're, you're scaring the regulars. I mean, uh, when was the last time you even took a bath, for Christ's sake? Uh, uh, sorry about that, folks. Now, what were you asking me? Well, as I was saying, Barkeep, oh, my and this here's my brother Darren. We're the Gemini brothers, witch hunters, and that fellow with the squirrels, they seem to be driving him nuts. What's the deal? Oh, well, don't pay him much attention. That's just, that's just Maurice. Yeah, he had a bit of trouble last year around Halloween time, see? A couple of boys took his son, one-legged sap, Nathaniel, I believe his name was, took him up to Hexer Camp or something like that. I don't get too involved, but long story short, his son never returned. They say witches and squirrels, and hell, I've even heard some people go and be as bold as to say chipmunks got a hold of him. Well, you see, Barkeep, it's not hard to imagine why something like that would drive a man nuts. In fact, it'd drive his nuts like a belt buckle with a steering wheel on it. Ha <laughs> ha, you're right, brother. I think we should go over there and talk to Maurice ourselves. Maybe we can offer up our services. Well, Aaron, I don't see no harm in that. Worst case scenario, we might get a point out of the deal. Ha ha! Ha Enough with the laughing, you're creeping me out. Uh, why don't you guys shut up over there? Some of us are trying to think. 
be alone with their thoughts. I got I got plans to make. It's almost Halloween again. Just shut up. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Maurice. Me and my brother are just coming over to see if we can't offer up our services and maybe help you out with your little bit of a problem. Problem? I have no problem. My son's dead and he's not coming back. All that's left of him is this stump. No, no, I don't care about problems from the past. I'm focusing on solutions now. Would you be so kind as to let me examine that? These, these markings here, these are, these are definitely witch markings. Definitely no mistaking them. No, sir, no how. Now you're probably wondering, Maurice, who are these two Irishmen showing up examining me son's leg? Well, you want to know which witch is which? We'll tell you. The witch is the worst kind of witch. But luckily, we're witch hunters. So what do you say? You stop sitting around here moping. Lead us to this Hexenkampf Hill, and we'll get revenge on that witch and maybe even get us some squirrel for dinner tonight. But it'll cost you 20 gold coins. Fine. That's a fair price. Let me just empty my pockets here and see what I got. Well, turns out I might not exactly have the gold. But, uh, would you settle for a pint each and maybe a sandwich you two could split? If that's a tuna fish sandwich, you got yourself a deal. And mind yourself, no pickles. Be warned, Maurice. Me brother hates pickles. Pickle killed our father. Aye. And that ain't no homo joke. You got yourself a deal, witch hunters. Now I know my boy's dead and you guys can't bring him back. What I need you to do is kill this witch for me. Get me close to Hexenkampf Rock so I can see her severed head. I know how black magic works and once she's dead, I can set things right. Finally. Hi Maurice, we're more than happy to help you. And going up there alone with all those crazy squirrels and that witch is suicide. So lead the way. My brother and I will follow you. And we'll help you set things right. Here we are. It's not far now. Come on, keep up. There. There, through the brush. You see that glowing rock? There's an evil spirit in that rock. And Goody Garland, the witch of Northampton County, guards it with her squirrels. That's where they took my son. That's where they killed him. And that's where we're going to make everything right. After all these years. Yes, Halloween has come again. Well, uh, we're witch hunters. We don't really deal with evil spirits, but I think it'll be okay. So, uh, let's not worry about that so much. Why throw a rock when you can kill a witch, like me pappy used to always say, before he died? Don't worry, Maurice. We've got you on this one. Maurice, you watch the back trail. I'm going to take a piss on this here rock. That ought to get our witch's attention. Or at least draw out some of our squirrels. Don't pee on the rock, insolent fool. I'm... I mean... Okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. All right then, Aaron. While you're over there taking your piece, emptying the sea monster and whatnot, I'll climb this here tree and see what there is to see. What do you see up there, brother? Not too much. I see a, I see a pair of hills that kind of look like boobs. Ah, uh, wait, wait, what's that? I hear some rustling. I fear I'm not alone up here, boy. Uh, oh goodness, the haunted squirrels! Protect me, Gemini brothers. Protect me. Don't let them near me. No, no. I'm going to grab me battle axe and save me brother's life. I'm going up this tree. Come here, you gray vibe, and I'll get my meat squirrels, you bloody tree vibe. Just follow up. brother. I'll drink a pint for you when this is over. Well, Maurice, looks like now this witch has taken something from me as well. That was my twin. I'd known him basically my whole life. Now he's gone. Let's find this bitch and get ourselves some revenge. Hold the pickles. We, 
We, we need to build a pyre. When this witch shows up, we gotta burn her and then cut her head off. I studied a little bit about black magic. I know how this works. We will burn her. But there's a certain sequence that must be taken in order to properly kill a witch. First, we'll drown her. Then, we'll hang her. And then, we can burn her. And then, we'll chop off her head. And then, we'll put a bullet between her eyes, but not just any bullet. Take this flintlock pistol. There's one bullet in there with a cross on it. That, my friend, will finally, once and for all, put an end to this witch's life for good. Avenge me, brother. You're a crippled boy, and all that's good in this world. Okay, Aaron, you're, you're the expert, so I'm trusting you on this. As long as we chop the head off and, and preserve it, I want it as a, a trophy. Thing is, uh, I can't get my hands dirty. You're gonna have to do all the work here. You're a man of mortals, Maurice, and I respect that. So I'll do the shooting, stabbing, chopping off of the heads, drowning, lighting on fire, and hanging. You just hang on to me pistol here until I tell you it's time to hand it back to me. But first, we gotta draw out that witch. And there's one thing no witch can resist. Peppermint patties. We'll lay them all out right here. We'll go hide in this shrub and wait for the witch to come out to get herself a fill of peppermint patties. Then we'll strike. Drunken Irishman! More fun, better time! <laughs> what? What is that? I haven't smelled a smell like that since that girl scout troop got lost in the woods on their camping trip. No, it couldn't be. Peppermint patties? My favorite. Squirrels, share in my delights. It's worked. We've lured her in and she's distracted. You stay here where it's safe, Maurice. I'm gonna teach this witch a lesson. Squirrel! I'm gonna take her and Dunk her head into this cauldron. Try to drown her till she stops struggling. Ah, die, you witch. You like me washing your hair, do ya? You dirty squirrel loving witch. I hate squirrels, I hate witches. Okay, she, she stopped fighting me. I think she's drowned enough. Let me tie this rope around her neck and throw it over the limb of that tree. We gotta grab the other end and pull Mari. Put her up, we gotta hang her now. Pull Maurice, pull Yanker up! Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Good job, Maurice. Keep tugging there. I heard her neck snap. I'm pretty sure she's been choked out. She's she's officially hanged. Let me get her down here and knock over this cauldron. It's time to drag her into the flames. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Shut your mouth, you green witch! I'm gonna throw you into these flames, then we'll see who's laughing now. Eat fire! Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? A little toasty? Isn't it? <laughs> Not quite as bad as you might think. <laughs> Certainly hotter than you and your brother, may I add. But not hot enough, Irishman. You better stop laughing so hard, you might just lose your head. Literally. Because now I'm gonna chop it off with me axe. Sour cream and onion potato chips. The squirrels are coming back. Arm yourself, Maurice. Maurice, uh, they're not attacking. They, they've just surrounded us. I don't know why they won't attack, but here. Here, pull, pull the trigger. Put the bullet in her head. Let's end this thing now, Maurice. Shoot her. What, what are you doing? 
Well, Rachel you weren't listening to me. I said you gotta shoot her. What are you taking a hole for? Come on, we gotta end this thing now! Wait, wait, no, no, please, please! Oh, I know what I'm doing, Aaron. I told you, I studied the black arts. Yes, you and your brother did exactly as planned. Now I'm gonna bury the witch's head under the rock and release the evil spirit inside. <laughs> You see, my name is Maurice Hexenkampf, and I come from a long line of worshippers of the god Huruganu, who is trapped in this rock. And it's been my legacy, my job, to release him by burying the witch's head. The spirit is free. You see, Goody Garland is the witch who guards this spot, along with squirrels, who are the souls of people who were sacrificed to the god. Like my son, I sent him up here to die as a sacrifice, because he was unworthy of the Hexenkampf name. And now, he will be released. Yes, the spirit of Hurugunu will be released, and everyone will suffer! You sick, twisted little man. You lied to me. You tricked me and my brother, you got my brother killed, you sacrificed your own son. I can't believe that she was a white witch, a good witch. She was out here to protect the people. She wanted to keep evildoers like you away from that rock. She was guarding it. She was guarding it for all the right reasons. What have I done? The sacrifices, the dead bodies out here, she changed them to squirrels so that the spirit couldn't enter them. Well, no one's going to be entering you. Unless it's the tip of this here axe blade, Maurice. Damn you! Damn you and your trickery! It's too late! It's already begun! And even if you kill me, Haruk can still use my body as his vessel, which is my plan all along! You've also made another mistake, Aaron. You've given me your pistol. How stupid are you? Oh, balls. Yes! Yes, Haruganu! Rise, Haruganu! I'm your worshipper and your slave! Use my body as your new vessel! Yes! Yes! After eons and eons of waiting, Haruka has returned. This world shall fall to me. Virtuous, I will come for Savah.